Good evening. An investigation of corruption on Capitol Hill reached a new public face today with a parade of Republican lawmakers going before a federal grand jury. That grand jury investigation appears to be focused on a former Speaker of the House. News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams was there as the current Speaker of the House came as a witness. Mr. Speaker, how are you? Do you know what to expect today? We'll find out soon enough. House Speaker Cameron Sexton was the first witness of the afternoon before a federal grand jury. What do you expect from today? <laughs> I just hope I come out with my suit on. One of about a half dozen, many of them Republican lawmakers who did business with companies linked to former House Speaker Glenn Cassida. Any surprises in the questions they had for you? I wasn't surprised by anything. As I said, I've been working and assisting with them since 2019. Um, so I, I was pretty comfortable answering every question that they had. Also testifying a former aide to the Franklin Republican, the bearded man in the red tie, who was among those targeted last year when FBI agents raided legislative offices, along with the homes of Cassida and two other GOP lawmakers. Ms. Smith, any comment at all? One of those Republicans, Representative Robin Smith, recently pleaded guilty to federal wire fraud charges and resigned from the state house. When you're a factual witness, you know, you're there to um, to help lay the foundation and also maybe authenticate certain documents and other things. And, and so that's what a factual witness does. And I was a factual witness. The investigation for now appears to be focused on Phoenix Solutions, a shadowy company that handled mailings for Republican lawmakers, some of them at taxpayer expense. Federal prosecutors say the company was secretly controlled by former Cassida aide Kate Catherine, who paid kickbacks to his former boss and Robin Smith. Most of the lawmakers who testified were inside the grand jury room for just seven to nine minutes, suggesting they might be there to check off items that prosecutors may want to include in a new round of charges. It's unfortunate that the actions of a few have brought this kind of attention to the Tennessee General Assembly, but hope for a quick resolution just like everybody else. With now former Representative Robin Smith cooperating with investigators and implicating the former House Speaker, all eyes will once again be on the U.S. courthouse to see if others could soon face legal jeopardy. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates.